Good morning, everyone. I'm going over uh, Facebook and YouTube in the morning, uh, like I do. And uh, I came across uh, an, an article that uh, Stereo does not like the phone sitting on top of it. Uh, at, at last, non-toxic and cheap thin film solar cells for zero energy buildings. And uh, the... Whew, uh, <laughs> one of the reasons uh, I wanted to post this, and usually this would have been a, a faster and faster post. In fact, I did uh, uh, do it faster and faster. That's a little bright. Uh, but I get a lot of uh, comments from clients. Uh, I, I talk about solar uh, energy and electric cars and uh, uh, the electrification of everything and how fantastic it is. And almost without fail, uh, and usually from conservatives that uh, see the negatives and everything, or see the see the dangers and everything. They're, they're worried about the dangers. Worried about the dangers of batteries and the toxic, uh, how toxic, man, that's really bugging me. Let's uh, see if I can fix this. It uh, doesn't like the stereo. Um, they're concerned about how toxic the batteries are and, and how much waste the solar panels produce and how much uh, it costs to make wind turbines. Uh, forgetting or ignoring the fact that the waste produced by oil drilling and fracking and coal burning and of all the, the toxic fumes from processing gasoline and oil spills, uh, the tragedies from pipelines, all those tragedies, all those <clears throat> uh, toxins and wastes are perfectly fine because that's what we have now, so we should stick with that. But new ones can't have new waste. It's, it's, it also strikes me very similar to the drug war, uh, conservatives usually. Uh, well, we don't want to make it legal because we don't want more drugs in, in society, <laughs> as, as if they're not there already. Uh, side note. <laughs> but I was... Uh, reading this article that uh, at last non-toxic cheap thin film solar cells and, and in my mind that's always kind of been and I, I need to start expressing that more uh, as technology moves forward uh, there really is no doubt that we're going to get more efficient at the electrification of our society more efficient at battery technology more efficient at solar cell technology all these things are going to become more efficient, and then, unlike gas and coal and fossil fuels, once you produce the solar panel, uh, you essentially get free energy. Yes, there's some waste involved. Yes, there's some uh, elements that we have to consume to put into the solar panels uh, to create them in the first place. And we, like batteries, we have to put stuff into batteries and make it out of uh, stuff in the first place. But once those are made, once it's produced, unlike coal, that once the factory is produced, you're still continually making waste. Uh, uh, but a battery or a, a solar panel, once it's produced, you're no longer, you're, you're then producing clean energy. And now, with uh, new breakthroughs, as we have gotten better, I'm a little rambly this morning, I need to have a, a, another cup. Um, as we get more efficient, there's less and less waste involved, unlike coal, uh, fossil fuels, where there is no such thing as clean coal. There, there's, uh, you can mitigate some of it, uh, but the cost, the cost of mitigating or making clean coal... Uh, it is way more than putting in, say, a field of wind turbines or a a field of solar panels. So it's, it's frustrating to me how the naysayers uh, 
only see one side and and just seem to ignore all the negatives about uh, what we're doing currently with fossil fuels, but then say, well, we just can't do it with with clean energy. There's no such thing. Or it's a conspiracy for people to make money at it. But there's no conspiracy for uh, uh, fossil fuel companies to make money at it. A an irony, uh, I, I suppose, but um, I'm extremely excited about the uh, energy technologies for the future, and, and I can't wait for this to come into the price range uh, that I can have it on my home. Uh, I have a lot of guilt uh, because of how much energy uh, my household uses, uh, especially during the summer in Florida. Uh, and it would be nice if there was a technology that when the sun is up, that you could use that to power your uh, our air conditioner. There's only something that the sunlight could do while the sun is up during the hot part of the day that could power the air conditioner. I, I think we'll figure it out someday, maybe. Good morning. Peace.